Hello beautiful, how are you today? I am pretty excited as you've seen from the intro to play with this two little products. This is the Juvia's Place Skin Eye, Pri Eye, Prime Eye Primer in color two. And this was released recently, I don't know, maybe like a month ago or so. And this is how the component looks like. You have, you can see the shade right here on the back, it says the shade two. Um, so it has 12 millimeters. It's a really good price, but I am gonna go ahead and just kind of add a little and I'm gonna bit. take one, a brush that I have. I think this is, yeah, this is from Ulta Beauty and it's supposed to be, an eyeshadow but I'm just gonna go really quickly just kind of uh, spread it all around I'm excited to try these because I tried only one thing from uh, Juvia's Place and that is a very small eyeshadow palette a mini one and it only had a few browns in there so that was the only thing I tried from this brand and I'm excited to see if this um it's this brand it's it's worth it to try it and it's worth it to uh give it a few more chances because I mean the brown one I like it but it's nothing extraordinary about it so we'll see so far I would have to say that I am not quite excited I mean I have to say from the beginning I'm not a big fan of eye primers I uh, don't always feel like a it's needed you know I feel like it, it's not a needed product in my collection at least but this one I mean it doesn't look too bad it looks okay we'll see how it's gonna go the Problem is, I have very wrinkly eyes, and sometimes when I go with things like this, they can emphasize my wrinkles on the eyes. They just settle through, and it doesn't always give me the best look. So we shall see how this one is gonna do. Mm. So far is okay-ish, okay? So let's see, this is the eyeshadow palette that I really wanted to try. This is the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place. And I have to be honest, I don't, I'm not a big fan of pinks. But I was like in Ulta and I was looking around and I saw it. And I was like, that looks super beautiful. I kind of want to try it and I want to see how it's going to go. So, finger cross, I'm going to like it. Um, let's go first. I think I'm just going to go with this color and just go all over the eyelid. Just kind of like make sure I set this uh, eye primer. This morning, I went outside with my animals, both my dog and my cat, to take them out our morning routine. And I took them out and while we were back, and usually I take them out from the back door and we go in the front yard and then we're coming back through the back door again. And while we were in the back, and trying to make our way back in the house, I saw a bear. <laughs> yes, a freaking bear. Can you freaking believe it? I mean, I did, I have seen another uh, one. I have seen another one. I think like two years ago, there was a mama bear with two cubs and they were playing and they were having a lot of fun in my backyard. While I was like, whoa. Um, but yeah, today, I saw a bear. It is fun. Fun in my backyard. <laughs> we always get to see deers, bunnies. We have so many. Uh, but bears, I don't usually get to see them. I know they're around because we are pretty much in the woods around here. 
Uh, and I know they're around, but I have not seen them. And I know there's some coyotes around. And I have not seen those either. My husband was telling me that he saw one the other day. And I was like, huh, I really want to see one. And he was like, you are out of your mind, lady. You don't want to see them. I'm like, no, I do, but I do. All right, so this is how this color looks like. I like it so far. It's okay. It's cute. It's nice. But what are we going to do from now on? I have no idea. So um, I'm going to do one eye. And then I'm going to go and do the other eye off camera. I think I'm just going to go with this pink that has more like a purpley uh, tone to it. So I'm going to do that. Um... Where am I going to do that? i actually going to go right here and just kind of do that there. I'm going to go for a halo eye. I think so. I think that's what I'm going to do. This is the darker shade in the eyeshadow palette. And I mean, I really, I like it, how it looks like. And so far, the way it blends, it's really nice. They're not as buttery as I would, uh, I was expecting them, but they are very beautiful and very blendable. All right, that's good. So my number one fear that I have when I go um, and try a pink eye look it's that <clears throat> I fear that sometimes it looks like I'm sick or it looks like I have a pink eye so that's why like a pink eye like you know like the staph infection is it a staph infection I don't know what it is but you know when your eyes gets inflamed and stuff um, so I'm hoping that's not gonna be the case tonight so we'll, we'll, we'll so see, okay? All right, so we ended up there. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the darkest one, the same one that I took earlier, more the purpley one. And we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna do just a tiny bit more. And then I'm gonna take this color right here, this pink, and I'm gonna do this one in the inner corner. Thinking I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit under my brow bone. And then for the center, I'm gonna go with both of these. So I'm gonna, or should I just go with one? Let me go with this one first and see if I like it. Okay. I don't see it too much. Let me get one of these brushes and see if that's going to be better. quite where I wanted it to be. Let's try the other color and just top it on top of this and see. This one looks really nice and I kind of like that color. It has more like that orangey vibe undertone to it. It's okay-ish. I still need to blend a little bit because I feel like I need to... Yeah, that is a little bit too dark right there in the front. So I'm going to clean this brush. I'm going to take again a little bit more of this light pink right here. And I'm just going to go on this area right here. Kind of blend it out a little bit and 
just want to make sure that I blend everything together. So I'm going to take a clean brush and just kind of go around. All right, so that's how it looks right now. I think I'm just going to add a little bit on my lower lash too. I'm going to add a little bit of this color right here. And I'm going to just add it right in the center. What do you think? Yes? No? Maybe so? I don't know. Let me add a liner. I'm going to do a black liner. And this is from Tarte the Men Eater. And that's how it looks right now. I'm going to quickly go off camera to do this other eye and I'll be back to talk about it. So here's the final look. What do you guys think? I did add a little bit of eyeliner and I added the mascara from Makeup Geek, which is this one extension effect mascara. And because I felt like I needed a little bit more blush, I added a little bit of blush from uh, Makeup Institute. I have this thing that I had it for a long time. And yeah, this is the Makeup Institute. I And I added this and this a little bit to give it just a tiny bit more flush, right? <laughs> and then for highlighter, I actually went in with Beauty Bakery and this is Milk and Honey palette. And I combined this, this color, which is Oh Honey, with this color Be Sweet. And I really like how it looks on my skin. It's really pretty. Now let's talk. Let's see. Are these two really nice? Do I like them? Do I agree? Do I recommend for purchase? This is this is actually really nice. From what I can see right now, it doesn't look like it settled into my wrinkly uh, eyes. So for that reason, I think this is really nice. I'm not sure how this is going to wear. So I'm going to let you know in the description bar if I still liked it by the end of the day. Um, the eyeshadow palette though, the eyeshadow palette, I think it's nice not quite my kind of formula it's a little bit i mean it's very powerful don't get me wrong like those mattes are incredibly incredibly uh pigmented the the shimmers are not as pigment uh, pigmented as i wanted um they are beautiful uh the formula is very blendable but it's not quite the formula that I usually like. I like a formula that is a little bit more softer, a little bit more buttery on the eyes, and it's not quite there. It's a little bit more um, dustier, but it is a little bit on the dustier side, so it's, it's a little bit more on the scratchier side. It's not as buttery as I would like it. But one big problem that I have, and I, I, it should be, I mean, it's my fault that I have not read about it, but it says that all six colors are not intended for use around the immediate eye area, which means it's gonna, it's going to uh, definitely stain my eyes and it might give me a little bit of reaction because I do have sensitive eyes and I try to stay away from dyes that are very strong. 
but so far I don't seem to have any reaction to it. We'll see. Again, I'm going to let you know in the description bar if they affected my eyes or not. But if you don't have problems with that, then go ahead and purchase it. These are some nice shades. I do like how this eye look turned out to be. It's a little intense. Yeah, it is. But I think it's pretty and I think with the lips being a little bit more muted, I can make it work. So this is what I have for you today. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. And I cannot wait to see you all next time. Bye. Don't stop.